Hey, this is Pastor Frank and hope that you are having another great week. You know, there is so much going on in the world. Uh, there are so many challenges and depressing news that's happening in the world. But you know what? We're blessed. Today, you and I are breathing. Today, you and I get to live in a great piece of land on this globe that God created. And we have so many things to be thankful for, including Christ, especially Christ. We've been doing a series called The Centrality and the Majesty of Jesus. And that's really what you get when you read Paul's letter uh, in the book of Colossians. Uh, last Sunday, it's kind of fun when you read Paul's uh, letter, he began talking about himself and the things that he's going through. And it was kind of neat how he referenced his own sufferings and the things that was happening in his life. And he was hoping that that would encourage the believers at, at Colossae. And it, it makes you wonder, you know, who are the people in our lives that we know of? When we think of them and how they're living their faith, they encourage us, be it people we know or who are the people that we don't know and haven't personally met, but by just seeing their life, they encourage us about the faith because really that's what happened at Colossae. They looked at Paul and said, look at this guy waiting in prison in Rome. Look at his life. They knew his testimony. What they saw in him encouraged them. Who is it that encourages you in your faith? Something to think about this week. Paul warned the Colossians to watch out for people that have different philosophies, different worldviews than Jesus. Because if anybody comes up against a worldview that's contrary to Jesus, they're wrong. If somebody has a different ideology than Jesus' ideology, they're wrong. Why? Because he's God. He's God. This next Sunday, we're going to be unpacking probably the coolest chapter, I guess you could say, in the book of Colossians. I look at Colossians 3 like the crescendo. It's like Paul begins talking about Christ seated in the heavenlies and a place of, of divine privilege and incredible power and authority. And he begins saying that we are seated with Christ. It's a, it's a really, don't miss this Sunday. It's an incredibly important teaching in the scriptures that we need to stir in. Hope that you're enjoying the book of Colossians. I hope that you are totally taken by the person of Jesus and that your salvation just gets more incredible the more you think about it, the person that died for you. Hey, if you're new to our church, this Sunday we're gonna be having a Meet the Pastors and it's gonna be right after the church. It's going to be in the Family Life Center, and what we just love these meetings. They're kind of informal, but it's like a time just for you to meet the pastors and for us to meet you. So if you've been new to Woodbridge, uh, please uh, feel free to come be a part of that, and uh, we're going to have a good time there. And also, small group leaders, in two weeks, we're going to have a small group leaders meeting as we begin gathering again and kind of being together as leaders. So for those of you that are small group leaders, uh, please uh, take note. Read Colossians chapter 3 this week. When I was teaching at Biola, my students had to memorize Colossians chapter 3, the first 16 verses, I believe. It's awesome. See you on Sunday. God is good and you are blessed. Stir that in your thoughts. Take care. Bye-bye.